This video is going to be on standard form of a polynomial. And here I've written um, the standard form in generic variables, um, or generic form, general form, I guess. Uh, and basically what it is is A, B, C, D, E, and F, all the things in black, are constants. There'll be some number, like 2 or 5 or negative 7, that uh, won't change in the equation. And then all of the x's are our variables. And then the n, n minus 1, n minus 2, the 2, uh, and even right here we could have a 1, but we typically don't write it. And we could, for the last one, have x to the 0 power. But as we know, x to the 0 power is just 1, and f times 1 would just be f, so we don't need to write that in either. Uh, so basically what standard form is saying is that you take your powers, and n would be your greatest power, your highest exponent, and you order them from highest to lowest. So whatever n is, the next one would be n minus 1, and then the one after that would be n minus 2, and you would keep going until you got to 2, 1, 0, which is this part of the equation over here. Um, so if you started with 8, you would go 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, it is possible that you might skip a number in there, um, because you might not have any x to the fourth terms. So it might go 8, 7, 6, 5, and then since you have 0 x to the fourth, the next one would be 3, and then 2, and then 1, and then 0. Um, an example of this with numbers, just so that you can see it, is something like y equals... Uh, 4x to the 5th plus 3x to the 4th plus 2x cubed uh, minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 1. So that would be in standard form because the highest power is a 5, and it goes all the way down to the lowest power, or, and it goes in order. Now, also, we could have had something like y equals... 8x to the 7th plus 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 5. Now here, we don't have every single number in that order, but it still starts with the highest power and goes to the lowest power. So it's still considered standard form. So this is how you write standard form. Now we're going to take a look at a couple problems where we're not given standard form but we need to find standard form. Now the easiest way um, to find standard form is when it's just given to you out of order. All you have to do is just rewrite it so that it goes from highest to lowest. So in this case, all of our terms are still separated. We just need to find the term with the highest exponent, which in this case is the 2x to the fifth. So that'll be the first thing that we write in our standard form. And then we look for the next highest, so we're looking for 4, and sure enough, we have a 6x to the 4, um, or 6x to the 4th. So then we add 6x to the 4th. Now we look again, and we have 8x cubed. So we take that 8x cubed and move it down. And then we're looking for the next one, which is this 4x squared. But make sure you notice that this is a negative 4x squared. So it's still going to have to be negative 4x squared when you bring it down into your answer. And then after the x squared, we have a 3x. And since it's positive, it'll be a plus 3x. And then negative 7, so minus 7. And so now we have it in standard form. And that's the easiest way, um, is if it's just given to you out of order. There are other times where it won't be given to you out of order, and you'll have to um, kind of play around with it. And we're going to take a look at an example of that in just one second. Now with this example, you can see that we have three terms in the first set of parentheses and then three terms in the second set of parentheses, and they're being multiplied together. So before we can even arrange them in order from highest power to lowest power, we have to first do the multiplication. Um, and we're going to use distribution to do that. And remember, you have to multiply everything in the first one times everything in the second one. So when I go ahead to get started with this, I'm going to do y equals... And then I'm going to take the 3x squared, and I'm going to multiply it by the x squared. And 3x squared times x squared is going to give me a 3 times x to the 4th, because you add those exponents. And then I take the 3x squared 
times the negative 4x and 3 times negative 4 gives me negative 12 and then the x squared times x gives me x cubed and then I'm going to do the 3x squared times the negative 2 so 3 times negative 2 gives me the negative 6 and then since there's not anything to multiply the x squared by it's just negative 6 x squared now I move on to the next number in this first set which is the 2x and I'm going to do 2x times x squared which will give me the 2x squared and then I do, oh, I'm sorry, not 2x squared, 2x cubed, because x times x squared gives me x cubed, because you add the exponents. And then I do the 2x squared times, or 2x times negative 4x, which 2 times negative 4 gives me negative 8, and x times x gives me x squared. And then I go ahead and I do the 2x times the negative 2, which is going to give me a negative 4x. Now, I've ran out of room on this line, but you would just continue um, with the next part. I'm going to have to move down the line, so I do the negative 5 times the x squared, which gives me negative 5x squared. And then I do negative 5 times negative 4x, which negative 5 times negative 4 gives me a positive 20. And then we've got the x. And then negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. So now I've done all of my distribution, and now it's time to look and see if there are any like terms that I need to combine. So I've got y equals, there's no other x to the fourth term other than the 3x to the fourth, so that one stays as is. Then I look at the negative 12x cubed, and there's a 2x cubed over here, so the negative 12x cubed and the 2x cubed are going to combine to give me negative 10x cubed. And then I've got this negative 6x squared and negative 8x squared, which gives me a negative 14x squared. But then I also have the negative 5x squared, which gives me negative 19x squared. And then I've got this negative 4x and a positive 20x, which will combine to give me positive 16x. And then all I have left is the plus 10. And now it already goes in order from 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So this would be our final answer for standard form. Thanks for watching today's video on the standard form polynomials. Hope it was helpful.